hello friends and welcome to youtube channel freedom tech and in this session what we are going to learn in this session we are going to use media pipe and then we are going to create our own model which detect sign language or we can say the sign alphabet so for that we will use raspberry pi 4 bookworm 64 bit version and then we will use raspberry pi 4 camera module so before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel okay friends thank you so much and let's get started so friends as i mentioned today we will uh, detect sign language and for that we will use raspberry pi 4 camera module we will use raspberry pi 4 bookworm 64 bit version and with the help of media pipe we will create our own model which detect sign language simple so for that i have created a new repository i will mention the link you need to simply copy paste the link inside web browser then go to the code click on download zip and it will download our zip format repository as you can see we successfully downloaded then simply open the file manager go to the downloads right click to the repository click on extract here it will extract our repository this is what our repository right click click on cut go to the home and paste the repository over here that's it now just open the repository and i have already run the command but when you install bookworm 64 bit version on first time on the raspberry pi you need to run this command so rpi bookworm txt this is the text file open with text editor it will open our text file like this way and this is the command sudo rm usr lib just copy the command copy it open terminal remember one thing as i mentioned when you install completely fresh rpi bookworm on raspberry pi 4 first you want to run this command then hit enter because i have already run the command as you can see there is error basically cannot remove the file because no such file or directory because i have already run the command simple so i have done with this command so now let's just open our tony python id and we will install our packages so go to the menu programming tony then go to the tools and manage packages first package which is opencv hyphen python hit enter first package click on install button and it will install opencv on our bookworm 64 bit version i have already done with installation then we need media pipe package so search for media pipe hit enter first package click on install button done it will install media pipe then we need tensorflow tensorflow main version not tensorflow light so tensorflow hit enter first package click on install button done it will install tensorflow on our bookworm 64 bit version then we need here skykit learn so skykit hyphen learn hit enter first package click on install button done it will install skykit learn on our bookworm 64 bit version so we need opencv hyphen python we need a uh, tensorflow then we need media pipe then we need skykit learn for this project so now again open our text file and inside that i have mentioned the second command which is this one pip3 install upgrade numpy and simple jpeg so just just copy the command second command open the terminal and paste the command inside our terminal and then hit enter it will upgrade our numpy package also it will install simple jpeg package for our raspberry pi 4 camera module so as you can see i have already done with this command also that's why it says requirement is already satisfied done so let's just minimize all these things let me close the text file so this is how you need to install the packages also you need to upgrade the numpy and simple jpeg package so now we will run our first code so let's just go to the file click on open and we will go inside our repository so home our repository and first of course we will create the model so for that first we need a data means we need our images so for images we will create a live images means we will capture the live images with the help of our raspberry pi 4 camera module so here as you can see i have import the pi camera 2 and we will uh, store all the images inside data folder so basically we will create a three classes 
so three alphabet means a b and c you can detect more so for that for this project i will only detect three alphabet which is a b and c so and then data size is 100 so what is data size data size is basically how many number of images for each class so for a class 100 image b class 100 image c class 100 image done and then simply we will capture the images so when we start the code it will start our raspberry pi for camera module and when we are ready we can simply press the q button from keyboard and then we want to move our hand in front of our raspberry pi 4 camera module in different different angle and then it will capture each class 100 images okay simple so now let's just run our code so here it is as you can see collecting data for class 0 and it started raspberry pi 4 camera module and here you will see uh, ready and press q q button simple from keyboard so now i will simply uh, this is what our a a sign so let me uh, simply we will press a q button from keyboard and then we want to move our hand in front of raspberry pi 4 camera module and then it will capture the images so as you can see we have done with first class so again we want to uh, simply we want to go for next class which is the b so again i will press q button from keyboard and then it will capture the b class images so this is what our b so i have just press q button and then as you can see it started the camera module and now as you can see done we have done with q now this is what our c so i will press q button again and this is what our c done so we we successfully capture all the classes images so here it is as you can see it's created a data folder and inside that data folder we have zero means our first class which is the a so inside zero folder we have all the a sign here it is as you can see a sign language images simple and then inside one folder we have same way for b sign language all the images and same way for c inside two number folder here it is as you can see simple so we have done with images now simply we will open our next code so go to the file click on open and then create dataset.py so here what we will do we will use a media pipe hands and then we will we will basically capture all the key points from our images and we will save all the points inside basically a pickle file so here it is as you can see i have mentioned import pickle so it will run the media pipe on our images here it is x is equal to hand landmarks dot landmark so this is the basic code for media pipe and then we will save all the key points inside data dot pickle file data dot pickle file and inside that data dot pickle file we will we will basically have the data like this way the data and the labels simple so let's just start our code friends our code is started our process is started and you will see inside shell this kind of red color text message but this is not error this is not error let's just run our code means let's just complete our process when the process completed we will see data processing completed successfully data save to data dot pickle file it will print simple so let's just wait when we complete our process we will get the message like this way simple friends as you can see data processing completed successfully data save in data pickle there is no error we successfully save our data inside our pickle file now let's just create our model so go to the file click on open and we will open test tree dot pi so inside our repository we have test tree dot pipe which will basically create our model which will create our model with the help of our data dot pickle file simple so there is no need to change anything from this code let's just run our code so friends as you can see it started epoch we have 50 epochs so let's just run our epochs then we have our model 
so we successfully create our model our model is ready test accuracy 100% so if you open our repository so let's just open file manager and this is what our repository inside that as you can see we have lstm model h5 so this is what our model which detect our classes so now let's just test our model with raspberry pi 4 camera module go to the file go to the open and then inside repository we have test4.py which basically i have mentioned inside the code i have mentioned our model name as you can see it will start our model and then we have 0 for a 1 for b and 2 for c so it will basically detect our all the classes so let's just run our code so friends as you can see it started our camera module and if i show the hand here it is as you can see it's detecting a it's detecting a because right now i am recording on same raspberry pi 4 that's why it's a little bit slow so this is our a then this is what our b and then this is what our c as you can see confidence level our b then this is what our a and then this is what our c simple so friends this is how you can create your own model with the help of media pipe using lstm and you can detect a sign language i hope you will learn something from this video we'll meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye